2015, they've raised close more than actually billion dollar from Microsoft. They're valued at hundred billion dollars right now. Um, they primarily uh, transform the whole uh, AI landscape by launching uh, uh, an LLM called GPT, uh, which uh, came out of uh, research at Google, but just completely transform in 2017 uh, when the paper was published, uh, which is attention is all you need. And all, all of that, you know, they, they created this GPT. Uh, Chat GPT was created sometime in 2019. It quickly, like within two months, it, it had like 100 million users. I mean, it's just amazing the insane amount of adoption, the insane amount of, uh, uh, you can say, uh, curiosity is generated uh, when it was launched, uh, and 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 AI today when we see is unstoppable, is inevitable. It is going to be there in, in uh, you know and going to change our lives completely, right? So OpenAI is credited with that. You know, it's basically started the whole AI. Uh, you know, you can say uh, the wave that we are seeing right now. Uh, so today, basically, we are not going to talk about ChatGPT, the application which uh, uh, OpenAI has built. We are also not going to talk about uh, GPT, which is the LLM which uh, OpenAI made. We are going to talk about APIs uh, using which you can, you know, OpenAI APIs using which you can build uh, AI applications. So that basically is the focus of today's webinar. It is designed not to be very introductory, also not to be very advanced, uh, but we will get into some specific examples of API, why those APIs are useful. We're also going to see how you can use those APIs uh, uh, and you will use Python for that. Uh, uh, that's a coding language that we'll use to showcase that. And we'll use Collab, which is basically a, a, a product out of uh, Google, which allows you to run the code um, in the cloud and also share your notebooks uh, you know with others and those kinds of stuff right so so we are going to use uh, open ai apis uh, use collab as a tool uh, to demonstrate uh, any questions you have about any stuff that i am going to cover feel free to ask me interrupt me uh, we like these sessions to be interactive the more you ask the more you will learn so 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 uh, feel free to do that now uh, uh, open ai apis right uh, uh, i'm assuming some of you or most of you have understanding of what api is uh, you understand what open ai is you understand what ai in general uh, as a landscape uh, is right in that basically we are going to uh, look at in that context once you have that context we are going to look at these apis right so so if you look at there are about uh, eight kind of APIs that uh, OpenAI has. Uh, first one is basically the chat GPT API. Actually the completions API, which is the next API, they have, I think they have deprecated uh, uh, and, and you no longer can use. The primarily everything now is in chat GPT API, which uh, in using which you can do a QA and a kind of stuff, like uh, what is the capital of India, for example. So that's a QA and a kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, behavior or, or, or you know, uh, application that you can build, or you can build a conversational kind of stuff, right? For example, you can say, uh, well, who won the, uh, you know, World Cup, cricket World Cup uh, in 20, you know, uh, 21 or 2022. And, uh, and then uh, once they say, okay, this country won, then you can ask, uh, okay, where was that World Cup held, right? So, so it's a chat kind of application uh, where the previous context is actually coming in and, and the chat is getting built because of the previous context, right? So, so you don't have to no longer ask, uh, I'm talking about the Cricket World Cup, right? It's, you, so basically you ask where that World Cup happened, right? So it's, assumption is that because the previous context, the Cricket World Cup is, uh, uh, and the year is is captured by the, by the LLM kind of stuff. So that basically is the first API. The, the second API, embeddings API, I don't know if you watched my previous webinar on vector search. So that basically is the API I was referring to uh, in my previous webinar on vector search. If you are not, I would recommend you look at vector search uh, webinar because vector search is, is going to be future, is used a lot these days uh, for variety of applications. 
and we also have fine tuning api so if you have any model and you want to uh, existing model of uh, for llm uh, sorry of uh, open ai uh, that you want to fine tune further for your own use case to basically reduce the hallucinations uh, hallucinations is basically something which happens in uh, in open ai uh, and any other llm that you see uh, where the LLM is actually giving a very wrong answer of, or factually incorrect answer kind of stuff. Uh, so that basically to reduce those hallucinations because sometimes you cannot afford in a production system any hallucinations. So you can fine tune uh, an open AI model with your own data and so that it has a, you know, uh, uh, exactly what you want. It's, it has a correct output and not an incorrect output. Uh, the moderation API. So sometimes you want to know that uh, someone who is, let's say you have an application where someone is uh, uploading any content, let's say you're uploading a, let's say catalog, right? And you, someone is writing or uploading some uh, inappropriate text or, or picture. So moderation API tells you that this actually is not the right content. You can basically filter out that content. You can, you can flag that content. You can then say that, you know, I will not let you upload this content because it's harmful. Cancer. So moderation API uh, allows you to do that. Code generation, code access basically allows you to, uh, you know, generate a code. It's just a variant of uh, open of, of GPT, uh, but it's optimized for code generation. So you can generate your node code, your Python code. It's basically used by GitHub Copilot, if, uh, if you're aware of that. Uh, and Dale, Dale E is basically for images. That basically is API which uh, you using which you can generate images. Let's say I want to generate a, you know, a pizza image or a, or a, or a, or a bag, uh, you know, a bag of potatoes image or something like that, you know, whatever image you want to create for your e-commerce uh, uh, you know, uh, application or for non-e-commerce application, or whatever image. So you will use DALI APIs and then Whisper API is all about speech to text and text to speech. Right? So if you want to create a voice kind of interface where uh, you capturing the voice and then converting to text. And then if you have a text output, you're converting into voice, you primarily will be using Whisper APIs. So those are the, you know, I would say seven APIs. I am taken out the completions API because that has been done in uh, now uh, been, um, you know, sort of merged with the G chat GPT APIs. So that's so seven APIs. And th those are the APIs is what I'll show in the demo uh, very shortly, that these are the seven APIs and then how we can use that, right? Any questions till now, anyone who's not able to follow, uh, not able to understand what I'm saying, uh, feel free to ask me anything. Those questions can be very basic also, it doesn't matter. I'll go to the next one. So, so first question, then people say, okay, I want to use OpenAI APIs, but how do I start? And, and basically to start, you need to go to OpenAI website, uh, get an OpenAI key and, uh, and, then, get, and then get into uh, you know, documentation tutorial and then basically build an application, right? So fundamentally, the, 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 the first thing that you will have to do is go to OpenAI website and, and get an API key. And I can show you quickly how to do that uh, so that you have some idea of how to do that, right? Uh, I'll cover the fine tuning slide later, but uh, I'll I'll quickly go to now the collab, right? And and talk about collab notebook, uh, so that you have uh, some understanding of uh, how to use collab notebook before I get into this, right? Let me just quickly share my screen again for uh, and show you my browser. Right, uh, one sec. Okay, uh, can you see my collab notebook, OpenAI demo? Anyone can confirm? I just want to make sure that my screen is correctly showing collab. It's not visible. It's not visible? No, sir. Okay, one sec. Hmm. Now can someone see and see the, my collab notebook? See. Not, not, 
वैसे तो बजे भाई सर सॉरी नाउ दिस इज बिल ओके ग्रेट थैंक यू सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ कोलैब नोटबुक एंड इफ यू गो टू आई आई विल प्रोबेबली यू नो जस्ट पब्लिश आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ डज समवन नो हियर व्हाट कोलैब इज और नॉट नो व्हाट कोलैब इज आई जस्ट पेस्ट इन द चैट एंड यू कैन गो एंड 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 इफ यू वांट टू डू इट राइट नाउ यू कैन click on that link right it's important for you to uh, use collab uh, kind of notebooks because it allows you to run the code uh, without really spinning up machines and and those kind of stuff a um, lot of these notebooks for example i uh, have preloaded uh, you know libraries so you don't have to load your library again and again kind of stuff right so so fundamentally uh, you know uh, what happens in in this collab is that i can write code here and i can write code python code i'm i'm basically is for python so i i'm writing code here i'm basically uh, and and i can then run this code like i can run this code and then i can the, see the output right here you know uh, uh, and i can see my errors also right here right so i don't have to really you know upload my code in the machine and then do python all those things kind of stuff right i can see i can run and and do this the other interesting thing is uh, uh is that basically i can also uh you know change my run time so i can if i'm using a cpu uh i can act i i get access to a gpu also right uh uh so so basically i, I it gives me access to a t4 gpu which is a gpu by uh you know uh, google uh which allow, which basically uh, uh, gives you more firepower you know okay, you can you can you can accelerate your your fine tuning you can you can do a lot of stuff right so of course the limitations not like you can you can use a uh, uh, very heavy fine tuning jobs here but allows you to have access to gpu which which is interesting and uh, and you can also see your you know what kind of ram you have access to what kind of disk you have access to here it's a shared environment so you don't have uh, the whole uh, you know uh, machine to yourself but fundamentally it allows you to run the code kind of stuff right is is everyone uh, you know somewhat familiar with collab now because uh, this is something that i'm using i just want to make sure that you can use it now good part is that i can share my collab notebook uh, to you and you can also then make a copy or you can you know uh, and 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 use the same code uh for so that uh, you know by the end of the tutorial uh, on this webinar sorry i will give you my collab notebook i'll share the link with of uh, the collab notebook so that you don't have to you know uh, copy this code uh, uh this code you will have a get access to you can run in your local and you know local collab uh you know in google account in local google account and 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 have access to everything so 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 don't worry about the code part you will get access to your, this collab notebook at the end of the webinar so don't you don't worry about it kind of stuff right so let's look at uh, what i'm doing here right i'm just going to zoom here uh for first uh, i'm assuming uh, some of you know about python if you don't know you know this might be a little bit difficult uh but uh, fundamentally what what we are doing is we are opening we are importing some kind of libraries here right open ai libraries uh, collab libraries uh, then os libraries kind of stuff right uh, open ai library fundamentally is for the open ai because i need to get access to the open ai apis and those kind of stuff right so this uh, library helps us to basically uh, get access to those apis uh, you know, in in a, from a code perspective uh then uh, user data because i i, I am using open ai key now uh, you know one thing i i, I told you that uh, you have to get x you know get your open ai api key and uh, you can go to open ai i don't know if my other screen will be uh, can someone see my other screen uh, the chat gpt screens is my has my screen changed or or is the same Yeah, can can you see my screen here? 
yes yeah so if you go to for example if you log in right and if you go to your uh, uh you, if you go to your dashboard here right it's the link is platform.openai. Uh, this thing i'll include this in the collab notebook so that you 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 have access to this later on So once you log in, you you will basically uh, if you go to the dashboard thing, you you'll see API keys here. Basically, you generate create a new secret key. You say new secret key, and you can name the key, and you, you basically will have to create a project. Um, uh, so before this, you basically create a project here, right? To create a project here, and uh, in that project, you create a new secret key, uh, and uh, you can then create a secret key and then this secret key you can just copy and uh, in collab basically good part is i can i can in the secrets i can store my secrets here so when i'm presenting here my key i can store here so that and i get access to that key using uh, this uh, the user data right so i'm basically accessing user data dot get open AI key which is stored in my secret side so that so that you know publicly if i'm sharing my screen or i'm sharing my collab yeah you, you know it's, it's not you don't get access to my key kind of stuff right so that's basically the idea uh then uh, uh this is the q a example right so this basically is a q a example in the q a basically what i'm saying is i'm using a model called gpt 4 mini this is the so chat gpt has multiple models uh gpt3 gpt3.5 gpt4 gpt40 40 mini so multiple models are there there's a latest model which is you know in august 0806 kind of stuff so the so gpt has different models you you can use models uh, uh and these models have different pricing so so depending on what pricing you want what kind of accuracy you want what kind of you know, uh, you know, uh, speed you want? You basically can use a mini or a uh, or without mini. Mini basically is faster, but it's less accurate. Uh, GPT four O. If I just if I just use without mini, it's gonna be costly, but it's gonna be more accurate and stuff, right? So that basically is is the model that uh, you you put here. Then you put your messages, right? Messages basically is saying there are two roles here. One is a system role. And what is the user role? A system is what you're telling that what you're telling to the uh, to the model that you, it's basically you're telling the model that you are a helpful assistant. You can add more content, uh, you know, basically, but that's a that basically something that you're telling to the model that you are a helpful assistant. So please help, right? And then the user is asking, what is the capital of India? Right. So this this basically so this. This can be something which can come from an application, right? So, so some something you have built an application, for example, where you have a chat. Somebody is asking, "What is my refund policy? What is your what is how can I get refund? Like how can I, you know, uh, uh, you know, what are your terms and condition? Whatever that is, someone can ask here. So that 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 goes here. So this is something which is a variable part. So here for, for the example, I put what is the capital of India. And then you can print your your basically completion. You you got multiple choices. So the first choice and then the message for it, right? So so what I will do, I'll quickly quick, quickly, you know, uh I'll probably I don't know if I can do exit here, but uh I'll quickly share, you know, run this and then and then and let's see what, what I can get as output, right? So it's just running right now. Uh, I just clicked here, it's, and and this whole code is now running, right? And and what you will see here below is what is what is happening, right? So, okay, so maybe it ignored my exit. It's running the whole thing, but that's fine. So, so what, what I have here is I've asked, what is the, I don't know if you can see what is the capital of India. And it's saying the capital of India is New Delhi, right? 
I basically is is how uh, you know the response has been, and uh, and uh, you know the 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 there is no refusal. There is nothing which uh, you know it has refused. The role is of assistant, uh, so assistant has has replied. Uh, function call. There is no you actually in uh, and we will do this later on in other webinars that how can you call a function which you write you know while you are running the query for example you might do an api call right to get the data uh, uh, which might help the llm to answer so you can write your own function so they because we didn't use any function calling the, the function call is null and the tools so only uh, sorry this uh, open ai has some of their own inbuilt tools for generating code, for generate, for file reading, all those things. So there is no tool call also. So therefore, the tool calls is done right. So that basically is uh, is uh, is uh, is the answer, and and this is how some of the lingos that I thought I'll I'll I'll, I'll present to you what that means kind of stuff, right? Uh, is is someone able to follow what I just did, right? I can, I can also ask some very interesting question. There's someone wants to say what we want to ask GPT for. Something interesting that you want to ask. What does GPT for? Which one? Can you repeat? What is GPT for? If you can ask that. Okay, that is, it is auto typing. This again, the beauty of collab, which is this auto typing. Model. So, uh, what is uh, GPT 4? Okay, okay, so clearly this exit did not work. So, I'm saying, what is GPT 4? Okay. Yes, it's gonna run. Let me just go here. So can you see this answer? GPT-4 or generative pre-trained transform of 4, a state-of-the-art language model developed by OpenAI. It represents the fourth iteration in the GPT-4 series, all that, right? So this is the answer that yes, has given, right? So so good part is, let's say you build some, some application where, you know, you have, you build a chat application. It's just three, four lines of code just this and you and you will wow people you know kind of stuff right you you get access to the whole knowledge of the world with just four four five lines of code right that's the beauty of this q a uh, uh and uh and and, and as, as you can see you know if someone who knows basic python can very well understand and and using collab it doesn't need to need and need any machine uh, they could just come here and those kinds of stuff. Right? So Q and A is this, right? This is basically question and answer that I'm asking something and it's asking questions. Now let's look at some kind of chat application. Now in the chat, it basically if you look at it's the same thing. Client dot chat dot completions are created. As I said, the the uh, the chat has taken over the completion, so. Chat itself has the completions now. So the completions API has been deprecated. Uh, so it's the same thing, but the message has more chat kind of flavor. So basically it's saying system content, you are a helpful assistant. So basically telling the telling the GPT that you are a helpful assistant. The user has asked who won the World Series in, which will, let's say, we just make it a little bit Indian in nature. Who, who won the World Cup? Cricket World Cup. I don't even know. I think it's what happened in 2021, maybe. Who won the World Cup in 2021? Let's say the answer. I'm actually poor in cricket, but do we know the answer? Who won the last World Cup? India? 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया ओके वॉज डिड इट हैपन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन शुड वी आस्क शुड वी आस्क ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री So this was the let's say this was the answer which uh, ChatGPT gave. Then the user asking where was it played, right, or which country it was played. Okay, so now let's see what is the answer this guy is giving. So again, it is running. uh because a shared machine on collabs it, it takes some time uh, that's that's one disadvantage but advantage you don't have to do anything right so it's saying the 2023 world cup was played in india right so if you realize the difference between q and a and chat is in the next question which which a user asked in which country was it was it played it actually is referring it the the chat gpt has the context from the previous that it you were asking for the cricket world cup in 2023 right and that basically is 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 how you can build your uh build your you know chat application um where basically the previous context is fed to the llm and then llm knows that you know where in which country was it played kind of stuff i did so this is how you now you you uh, you uh, build a chat now now the problem with this is that i have to feed in my previous conversation into the every query every message that i that i gave right and, and that basically is a problem because i get charged for the tokens tokens is primarily the the how many words that i'm using how many output tokens how what's the was the number of words that was the uh, response if the response is very big then you get charged more if the response is shorter then you get charged less so it's a per word or per token i'm i'm just uh, simplifying it uh, although token is not equal to word uh, but uh, you get you get basically get charged for each word right and here somewhere uh, you can see how many tokens have been used uh, let me see if it's there somewhere okay completions so basically it gives you uh, how many tokens are used uh, input and output uh, it's a little bit longish output so that's where you know we'll do show you but you can see what input and output token so to chat the challenge is that your your input token is, and uh, is actually increasing which increasing your cost kind of stuff so that's one thing that you need to be mindful of when you're building a chat application that your cost of api cost of using open ai api will will go go up kind of stuff and those and, and open ai apis are not cheap right so that basically is one thing that uh, you need to be careful about okay so now we have understood qna we have understood chat it's a very simple line of codes that you have to write to build chat and qna uh, now let's look at how to generate image in open ai anyone has any questions uh, till now okay so basically uh, the third third api basically we said we will generate an image like we'll show how to generate image and the model is not gpt4 over here the model is basically dal uh, dal a3 that's how you know uh, no, no, sorry to interrupt can i ask a question on yeah, the yeah, previous yeah please please please, yeah. please so my question is on this chat completion uh, there is a role user so uh, does uh, it understand the context of the user like who is the user like here you ask the question who won the cricket world cup suppose if i ask who won the world cup and uh, the user is like manoj gupta and mm. he is like a football uh, enthusiastic and if uh, user is praveen i am a cricket enthusiastic so does it understand that i am the user is talking 
think about cricket world cup for me and for you is a football world cup uh so there is so i'll tell you what there is a context window in each llm right the context window has a certain limitations on the length right now okay. uh, when we are doing chat the whole previous context is also fed into the gpt that this actually the previous questions were these or answers were these for this for this user right uh, so if you are out of the context window if you ask something which is let's say uh, you know the let's say the context window is 8000 words let's say, take example now the context windows are much longer uh, but uh, you know let's say 8000 words so if you are if you are referring to something which was before 8000 word in the chat then llm has forgotten about it so there is no context right so so it, it so first thing is between two users it can only know if you have asked about it before right if we say who won the world cup is somewhere in my previous interaction on gpt i have asked uh, about cricket world cup then it understands okay you are talking about world cup but is a cricket world cup so uh, you know let's let's give you example here right uh, let's go to the chat gpt you can see my gpt yes right so i'll say i'll start a new chat so my context is zero now so it it basically is a fresh thing so if i ask which country uh you know one world cup it has no context because I, it doesn't know which world cup we are talking about right so it might be it might let's see what it asks but it should it should ask me that so it's basically saying we fifa world cup right i'll say no i love cricket so answer accordingly so i've i've said no this is this is not something is right because i'm not talking about football i'm talking about cricket so let's say you know if uh, it so now it's it's basically talking about icc is answering the same question which country won the world cup in the won the most world cup in 2019 so because i did not say which year right so i'm let's say i'm talking about this decade let's say again. so it should then talk about only 2023 World Cup, right? That basically is uh, is so again. It it uh, it is looking at twenty so twenty twenty one. Okay, so basically the T twenty World Cups uh, is talking about uh, which happens in twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two, right? So it gave me only for this decade. Now it's not telling me about twenty nineteen and all those things, right? That's basically is is uh, the now. now if now uh, uh so so you understanding the context i am not giving in my next chat i am talking i am talking about this decade but i am not saying i am talking about cricket world cup i i love cricket all this the context is getting built uh, and that context is getting fed whenever i am asking the next question so the llm knows okay is this guy is talking about this kind of stuff right uh but uh, but uh, if if you ask just just uh, you know without context any anything new it doesn't know which whether i'm talking about cricket or uh, because i love cricket and you're talking about for football because you love football i don't know if i was able to answer your question in a more you know, yeah, uh, yeah sort of my, my question was like i'm talking right i'm talking to chat gpt and like madhush gupta is talking to chat gpt so does it uh, after uh, can create a profile of manoj gupta based on this chat that later i can feed uh, as a user and it understand uh, it it does it basically when i when i say new chat my profile is gone it's uh, and and uh, you know uh, it basically is a new chat it's not storing any of my profile data that what what i talked about kind of stuff okay so you basically if you look at uh, i think somewhere you can also say 
that I don't want uh, my data slash and memory, right? So, so it's basically saying chat it will become more helpful as you chat, picking up on detailed preferences, tailor responses to learn more. Whenever chat remembers teach you something new, just chat with it. So it is actually what, so if I, I may be wrong, but it has a memory. It's saying that Chavity will become more useful. So I've, I've turned it on. If I set off, then it will not remember my profile or what I've asked and this kind of stuff. Okay. So yeah, I, I, I may be wrong here that it actually, is, it has, so I can clear my chat GPT memory also here. Okay. Right. So it can actually over time understand you so much that if you ask World Cup, it will only talk about Cricket World Cup, not anything else. Any other question from anyone? Okay, we'll move to the the next example quickly because we are actually out of time. So image generation, I think I'll just take the image generation part. I'll share the collab so that uh, maybe we'll do it some other time, other, 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 uh, uh, you know, APIs. But image generation is interesting because uh, here what I'm saying is that uh, generate an image using this model. As it can be a white Siamese cat or we can just say something more familiar to us, which uh, that, uh, mm, let's say a lion, uh, with the uh, uh, cups, let's say, and this the size is this quality standard, and generate only one, right? So let's sit now. So 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 now let's say I just run this, right? And let's see, you know, what kind of image it generates. So my data will of course be down as it's running. What I wanted to uh, showcase is how simple it is used to it is to use OpenAI and actually generate really interesting stuff uh, without really and and these things these type of things if you had to do like five years back it would have been so difficult. Right? So this is the image link. Let's look at you know what kind of image it has generated. Can you see the screen with lion and the cubs? stuff yeah it's visible yeah so so it, it, just 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 imagine if you had to build something like this from scratch you know uh, and you can you can also build for your own use case for example you are building a maybe we can try that you are building a banner right yeah, so uh, let's say you know an e-commerce banner with grocery items which should include let's say uh, noodle and uh, let's say milk right so let's say i i want to create a i was actually spelled it wrong grocery but it will catch the good part about llms is spelling mistakes plural singular you don't have to worry about it kind of stuff catch right so let's say uh so let's say you want your you have a you know you have an e-commerce storefront and you want to build like banners uh and you you don't have you know uh, de any designer you can actually just use this simple tool uh to generate uh, very interesting images let's see what it actually i've not used so but okay so it has designed something with some grocery item, milk, and noodle. Noodle is here, milk is here. You can even tell that I actually need less clutter, right? For example, I, I'm not liking it because it just uh, has a lot, uh, lot of clutter. Also, I, I, I don't like this uh, text, so I don't want this text. So you can, you can actually tell uh, when you are generating image that avoid avoid uh, clutter and I, I would I would you know request you to do it uh, uh, and play around with it uh, 
and 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 see how it works and so on. The other use cases I'll quickly go through is vector embedding. It's a simple that you give an input. You 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 want to create using a model or some kind of vectors, and then you'll get a vector. Vectors here again for five lines of code. Moderation is that you you basically say, for example, I'm saying I will kill you, right? This is something it is it should say that oh it is it's a violent you know someone is violent so so some flag has to come up like a violent flag and this actually if you look at below i think it should be there somewhere moderation yes the moderation so it's saying harassment is true right so it's saying there's someone is harassing harassment threatening is true hate is saying false actually i think hate should be true here uh, elicit self harm, false self harm instructions are false, intent is false. Uh, violence is true, right? So it's saying violence is true, that's right. So if you if you get this flag, violence is true, then so okay, some that this text someone is entering some really violent text, and I don't want this to come on my reviews, I don't want this to come in my content somewhere. You know, uh, where I'm asking someone to fill up a content and those kind of stuff, right? So, so that's how you use a moderation uh, API, which actually is very useful in certain cases. Um, uh, and the fine tuning, fine tuning is a little bit more advanced in nature, but fundamentally, as I said, you can fine tune a model. You can create uh, a training data, training uh, how to create a training data, how much to create data. It itself a, a, a webinar topic, uh, so I will not get into that detail, but you can create a JSON L file with, with these kind of training data and then start a fine tuning job and, and, and then you can look at your job, your job is complete, then you can you can use your fine tune model uh, you know here instead of the GPT models, those kind of stuff, right? So that, that again allows you to create your own model and use those models here kind of stuff, right? And then interesting things about text to speech is here, which uh, which you can you know uh, use. Uh, and and I, I think also have a speech to text somewhere. Probably skip that. Yeah, somewhere the the uh, speech to text. Yeah, speech to text is here. The speech to text is also here. That that. That code is also here, so you can you can play around with it and stuff. I think with that, uh, actually, unfortunately, I've run out of time. Um, but I'm happy to take some questions if you have, if any of you have anything. Any questions from anyone on any of the stuff? Okay, with that, I think uh, we'll wrap up here. Uh, thank you for uh, your time and uh, we'll come up with more interesting stuff uh, in my future webinar. Uh, so uh, thank you for that. And uh, stop sharing. Uh, with that, I want to uh, wrap up this. Uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll share more interesting webinar topics uh in for future and uh with that have a great weekend goodbye